Ladies and gentlemen, this is your reaction. This is why did the USSR hand over West Berlin? Short and made documentary will tell history matters. Just after World War II, the USSR hand over West Berlin to the Western Allies, despite having conquered it all on its own. So why did it do this? Yeah, okay. I think it. Uh, you know, the bigger picture here is that you know Allied forces fought Nazis to begin with. Even though USSR took over the Berlin, Berlin was kind of important, you know, you know, place. Uh, it uh, occupying that symbolizes the whole fight in a way, you know. So if uh, you know Allied uh, defeated Germany here, and so they, you know, Berlin is the symbolic place to occupy. So USSR cannot just occupy the whole thing, right? Because Allies would be pissed off. Uh, maybe so they had no choice but to give it up, I guess. And you know they didn't see much problem with that at first, I guess, because the common enemy was Hitler Nazis, basically. But as soon as they're gone, they realize that okay, after them going, the next tension is between you know USA, Britain, whatever versus USSR. Now that's a tension. So I guess over time it became an issue. It was an issue at the start. But yeah, let's watch the let's watch the you know small details here and there about what made it so critical. Uh, you know, although History Matters, History Matters, great channel, explain complex things in short time. I still haven't done 10 minute videos that they have, right? I think they stopped doing that, but they have enough videos about that, uh, about different histories in the here and there. I guess I'll do that tomorrow or something. But yeah, let's go this one. 1945, both the USSR in the east and the US-led allies in the west were racing to capture Berlin. As you'll know, the USSR got there first and took the city in April of that year. Yet, after the war was over, Berlin didn't simply remain a part of the USSR's occupation zone or even East Germany, but was itself also divided between the victorious powers. Which raises the question, why? Why did the Soviet Union hand over West Berlin to the Allies when it already controlled it? So it won't surprise you to know that Berlin being the capital of Germany meant that it had a symbolic status to the there victorious you. powers. As such, when both sides were discussing how Germany would be divided, it was agreed that Berlin would also be shared. Everyone had agreed to this because nobody knew who would get to Berlin first, and so making sure everybody got a slice of it seemed fairest. That said, Stalin wasn't exactly famous for being a man of his word, and so when Soviet troops captured the city, he had to choose to hand most of it over to the Western Allies. And his reasons for doing so were actually quite simple. First of all, there was still a war going on. In the East, Japan was still warring away, and so both the Western Allies and the USSR needed to get along. The Soviet Union saw a massive opportunity in controlling... Wait a minute, but Japan was much of a threat to USA than anything else, right? So, did you was USA really that concerned about Japan? To me, it feels like Stalin was just that, like I will grieve about it now and worry about you later, like do something about you later or something like that, some scheming mentality or something. Like because, like he said, his war didn't matter much, right? <laughs> I like how he just you know slowly come you know come with it a pickaxe or whatever that was massive amounts of territory in China, Korea, and also potentially Japan. And thus, alienating Washington, London, and Paris wasn't going to make the post-war recognition of any changes easier. As such, Stalin honored yeah, his go. previous agreements because handing over a chunk of a city in return for a chunk of a continent seemed like a good trade. Secondly, Stalin believed that the division of Berlin was only a temporary measure. The Allies were simply doing so to show unity, and it was an inevitability that cooler heads would prevail and Berlin would be reunited. The plan was never to divide Germany up permanently, and Stalin had hoped that a reunited Germany would soon become communist, and by extension, under his control. As such, handing over West Berlin wasn't seen as a concession, but as a goodwill gesture to the Soviet Union's partners. Furthermore, given that West Berlin was well within the USSR's occupation zone, Stalin knew that he could simply starve the Western powers out with the stroke of a pen. When it became clear that Germany's... There's the thing, right? I didn't know that before I watched the video, I left uh, Berlin or something like that. That even the divided places of Germany, <laughs> Berlin was part of Soviet Union's area. So you see the map is just like, you know, uh, whole uh, Berlin is, uh, you know, surrounded by this red, uh, Soviet red. And inside the Berlin, there are still more, you know, divided parts, I guess. So it, it, half of the Berlin, was, you know, was occupied by the Western, you know, countries or whatever, right? While all place around it is controlled by Berlin, like, holy shit, it's like, uh, it would be one of the worst situations anybody would come across, right, tactically. So I guess they found advantage of that, like, fuck it, we'll just star them out, just blockhead everything. <laughs> but they, what they didn't realize is that they'll just use planes, because what you're going to do, shoot the planes out of the sky? That was so good. 
vision was going to become permanent and that the West was going to incorporate their Germany into an anti-Soviet bloc, he closed the west of the city off. And the US knew that without having the ability to bring in food, they'd have to leave. Or at least they would have, had Stalin not made one tactical blunder. He forgot the sky existed. As a result of the blockade, the US and Royal Air Forces airdropped food and supplies into Berlin for just under a year until Stalin relented. And it was at this point that Stalin had realised his mistake. Western occupation of Berlin wasn't just symbolic of Germany's defeat, but also of their commitment to resisting the USSR. And without any way of removing the West without full-scale war, the plan... <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, man. imagine the people who flew in the, that air, airlift time, right? So we're going to stick it to the Soviets, commies or whatever, <laughs> while you know, flying supplies in there, right? Constantly around the clock. Even there was like, you know, uh, was it snow, fog or whatever that was, right? Where visibility not clear. They still d did that shit. They still delivered. The was to make staying there as difficult as possible. This was done by holding up shipments and making the red tape oppressively hard to navigate. This ultimately didn't work, which is why in 1958 Stalin's successor Nikita Khrushchev issued an ultimatum to the West. Leave Berlin or we'll do... something. The Allies said no and when the deadline passed and nothing happened, well, that was it. And eventually the USSR just sort of had to accept that it made a mistake handing over- That was a colossal blunder. I'm sorry, it just was by Khrushchev, right? Don't make threat that you can't follow on. By then it's just like, you know, you're catching you naked or something, right? You know, leave Berlin or else. They're like, we're not going to do it. Deadline passed. Now what? He didn't do shit. Holy shit, the, you know, his whole threat, his whole image in the West would have gone down by then. Like, I don't care what you say now. You can't do shit. Half of Berlin, because the Western powers weren't going anywhere. I hope you enjoyed this episode with the special thanks to my Patreon supporters, James Bizanet, Kelly Mike. That is almost there, right? Yeah, there you go. Seriously, this is so fucking good. Uh, Stalin, I, I don't think, you know, Stalin probably would have realized, like, you know, there's going to be a problem in the future. But short term, he just thought, like, okay, we'll let them in now and we'll worry about them later or something like that. Because I highly doubt he just thought that they were just going to leave. It's just symbolic they're just going to leave. But I think he m might have thought that because uh, the Berlin was part of that USSR controlled Germany area, right? Uh, so, but you know, the West just stayed because fuck you, USSR, that, that became a thing, right? They became very clear on that. <laughs> the whole whole scenario is so fucking good, right? They're like, oh, we're going to block at this place and they're not going to do anything about it. Yeah, that you forgot planes. That was so good. All right, well, if you like, my next time, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.